YouTube family, I'm back. I know I've been gone for a while and I apologize for that. Unfortunately, my stepdad, who I consider my father, as he raised me since I was 10, has fallen terminally ill. And um, there's just been a lot of family nonstop coming. And so rather than posting, I thought I, I'd be with them. And um, that's what happened. Also, I had to move. So I'm in a new kitchen now. That's a thing. So well, here we go. So today I'm gonna show you a salad that I could honestly eat every single day. It's so good. I'm catching this dish at the end of the season, but it's a beautiful heirloom tomato salad with burrata cheese, arugula, and mini croutons, which I love. Gotta test out the bang on this thing. All right, let's go. Okay, check this out. One of the coolest garnishes ever. All you need is some white bread. Any kind of white bread will do. And what I'm gonna do first here is decrust it. This just makes it a lot easier. You could probably leave it on if you want. And of course that can be saved for whatever you wanna use it in. One idea is just to cut this up, soak it in milk, put it in some meatballs, that would be amazing. Now check it out, one piece at a time. We'll take a rolling pin and just really flatten this out as much as possible. If you had a pasta machine, you could also roll it through that. So that's just so we end up with something thin like this and just repeat with the rest. I learned how to make this garnish when I lived and worked in Holland. And we used to make this and we'd make salmon tartare and then we would dip the top of the salmon in this little mini croutons for a nice crunch. They're really addicting, you just wait. Now, we stack them all up and now what we do, we slice this way. Just try to make them as even as you can. We're just going for little tiny squares Then turn your pile this way and slice again. Now we've got these beautiful little squares, time to cook. I convinced the landlord where I'm staying to let me get a new stove because I, not that it's terrible working on electric, but I just can't go back from gas. So that's getting installed next week. So medium heat pan, just going in with quite a lot of neutral oil. This is just avocado. And whatever's left over from this process we can reuse, I'll show you in a bit. Okay, in they go. Looking for a nice sizzle here. And with a spoon, you wanna keep moving these. It's been about eight minutes now. I just turned down the heat a little bit because they're starting to get golden brown. And this is when you really need to watch them. The last thing I'm gonna do, a bunch of fresh thyme. Listen for the crackle. Perfect. Heat off. Now, quickly get them out into a strainer and immediately salt while tossing. And that is a beautiful garnish. Now, the only thing about these is good luck, like not eating half of them before you make your dish. One of those. Oh, oh, so hot. I can hear them sizzling in my mouth. <laughs> now, allow me a quick moment to bring up today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. And personally, I am passionate about Skillshare because I am passionate about online learning and it's done so much to change my own life. So Skillshare is an online learning community where you can take classes from people who are experts in their field. They've got classes on illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and so, so much more. Literally anybody who's watching this right now, there is something on there for you that you can watch, come out of and be like, boom, I just learned something new that I can actually apply to my life. And I was lucky enough to find a course that was just about filming and editing cooking videos. The course was called Filmmaking for Fun and it was about creating a short cooking film by Ben Roundtree. The course was awesome, packed with information, and divided into really easy to follow lessons and I personally definitely learned a lot. And I have great news because the first 1,000 of my subscribers who click the link to Skillshare in my description will get one month completely free. Give it a shot my friends because online learning can and will change your life. You just gotta put in the work. If it wasn't for online learning, I would not be standing right here in front of you today. That's how I started all of this. It's really something that I'm passionate about and I think you should be too. Thanks again to Skillshare, now back to the recipe. Now to finish up, I have some heirloom tomatoes, but you could use any other kind of tomato. These ones are getting a little old, so I'm gonna take off any bad spots here. I'm just using a little paring knife and cutting out this core. A little bad patch here, we'll just get rid of that. Now pretty simple, we're gonna slice into nice thick pieces. Check it out, just lay out your tomatoes. You don't need to think too much about all this. And we're leaving a little room in the center on purpose. You'll see why in a minute. Now here's where the important details come into play. We're gonna season this tomato right away. And Sergeant Gilbert! Reporting for duty, as much or as little as you like. This little detail right here will set your salad apart. Did you put salt and pepper on the tomato? Simple as that. Now, just a little arugula. And my favorite dressing, this is just a white wine, lemon, honey vinaigrette with mustard as well. Just lightly dress our salad. Make a little C shape with your hand in the middle. Drop that down. I mean, how good does this look already? 
what you want to kind of do here is make a little well in the center like that. I kind of meant to do this first, but it's okay. Some aged balsamic, right? I don't believe in reducing this all the time. I, it's just as good like this and even juicier in a way. So over the tomatoes, now olive oil afterwards, just on the tomato, don't need it on the salad. Now watch, a little Parmigiano Reggiano right there over the salad mostly. Woo! Now watch, burrata cheese right in the middle. Now check it, take some scissors, cut twice, boom, boom. And then we're gonna peel this back just to expose that creamy middle. Should just fold right back like so. Mm. Wow, now pay attention, we're not done. A little olive oil on the burrata. How beautiful does that look? Touch of salt and some pepper. And of course, last but not least, these beautiful mini croutons, mostly over the tomato. Wow, I'm telling you, that is a five-star salad, holy cow. I mean, how happy are you if this is in the middle of the table? Almost forgot if you want for an extra little visual pop, get these little basil leaves on there. It'll work nicely. Okay, well, okay, okay, let's see. Mm. 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 Those mini croutons, I swear they make it. That'll blow anybody's socks off, guaranteed. <laughs> ah! No, no, I can't, I can't. It's my landlord's fridge. I can't do it. Ah, you might be wondering what happened to the fridge, the one that I put some serious work into. It's on the way, it's being shipped here. It will be with me until it's destroyed! So, it's on the way. In the meantime, enjoy a rerun. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this post, and until next time, you know I love you in the mouth!